If we do detect um, COVID in the sewage, it does mean that there's possibly been a person who has had COVID either at the time or someone who's visited the area. Sewage, it's a topic no one wants to talk about ever, but it's become a key part of Australia's early detection of COVID-19. So how do scientists track the virus from person to wastewater? When people have COVID-19, they often shed the virus, which means that fragments of it can enter our sewage through feces, showers and sink water. Sewage surveillance programs have been set up around Australia to help monitor the COVID-19 pandemic and look for early warning signs of outbreaks. New South Wales alone is currently testing at 60 sewage treatment plants across the state. Samples are taken from wastewater treatment plants and then tested in labs to analyse for virus fragments. Um, its attraction is that you can screen a large number of people by taking a relatively small number of samples. Even after a person has recovered from the virus, they can still continue to shed COVID-19 particles for a few weeks. So finding fragments of COVID-19 in wastewater doesn't always mean there are infectious cases in the community. It just means there has been a case at some point. It's not the first time that wastewater monitoring has been employed. Scientists also use this method to track drug use, vaccination success and previous disease outbreaks. This is an approach which has been tried before and has been successful in the uh, surveillance of polio all around the world and has enabled Australia to maintain a polio-free status. So, in fact, it's not a new approach. Scientists do not know yet how long COVID-19 can survive in sewage, but they do know that the detergents in our wastewater make the virus inactive, it won't remain infectious, and it can't be passed on. 